Saint Denis. Feast Day, October 9th. The Life and Martyrdom of Saint Denis, a Tale of Faith and Sacrifice. In a time long past, when the city of Paris was but a humble village, there lived a man named Denis. His story, one of unwavering faith and sacrifice, would come to define the very essence of his existence. It is the tale of a humble missionary who would become the first bishop of Paris, a martyr for his Christian beliefs, and the patron saint of France. Chapter 1 The Call to Faith Denis was born into a devout Christian family, raised in the teachings of the Church. His faith was nurtured from a young age, and he possessed a profound desire to share the Word of God with the world. As he grew, so did his calling to become a missionary. Chapter 2 The Journey Begins With the blessings of his family, Dennis embarked on a journey that would take him far from his homeland. He traveled through the Roman Empire, spreading the Christian message to the corners of the known world. Along the way, he converted many to Christianity, earning a reputation as a charismatic and dedicated preacher. Chapter 3 The Arrival in Paris Dennis's journey eventually brought him to the village of Lutetia, known today as Paris. It was a place steeped in paganism, where the worship of Roman gods and goddesses held sway. Undeterred by the challenges ahead, Dennis saw this as an opportunity to shine the light of Christianity upon the people of Paris. Chapter 4 The First Bishop of Paris Through his tireless efforts and unwavering faith, Dennis gained a following of devoted believers. His dedication was recognized by the Church, and he was ordained as the first Bishop of Paris, entrusted with shepherding the burgeoning Christian community. Chapter 5 Persecution and Martyrdom The rise of Christianity in Paris drew the ire of the pagans. In 258 AD, Dennis, along with his companions Eleutherius and Rusticus, faced a cruel fate. They were arrested and brought to the hill of Montmartre, known as the Mount of Martyrs. There, they were subjected to unspeakable tortures for their refusal to renounce their faith. Chapter 6 The Miraculous End Despite the torment they endured, Dennis, Eleutherius, and Rusticus refused to abandon their beliefs. They displayed remarkable resilience and unyielding faith. It is said that even after their heads were severed from their bodies, Dennis picked up his severed head and continued to preach the gospel. Miracles were reported, and many pagans who witnessed this gruesome spectacle converted to Christianity. Chapter 7 The Patron Saint of France News of the incredible events that transpired on Montmartre spread like wildfire. The once pagan land of Paris was forever transformed, becoming a stronghold of Christianity. Denis, Eleutherius, and Rusticus were revered as martyrs, and Denis was hailed as the patron saint of France, a title he holds to this day. Conclusion A Legacy of Faith The life and martyrdom of Saint Denis serve as an enduring testament to the power of faith and unwavering devotion. His journey from a humble missionary to the first bishop of Paris, and ultimately, a martyr, has left an indelible mark on the history of France and the Christian faith. The story of Saint Denis continues to inspire countless individuals to this day, reminding us that faith can move mountains and that even in the face of adversity, the light of faith can shine brightly. I recommend subscribing to the Saints Inspire YouTube channel for daily inspiration from the Saints. Folded Hand Sparkles Subscribe for daily blessings, share the videos on social networks, and be part of a community that receives and shares inspiration.